Oh, I'm definitely recording now. That's for sure. That's good. Last time we, um, last few, we've forgotten to do the thing. Oh, has it been difficult? No, I just like forget. I f- we forget to do the thing, and then I forget to record the Zoom. So I just have to sort of figure it out. You seem quite loud today. Um, Should I turn somehow I, turn myself up or see? It's interesting because you're quite loud. I go one ear off, you know, because like harmony style. But yeah. if you want, I can I can turn down. It's fine. Do you want me to turn down? Yeah, a maybe bit? a little bit because I'm okay. seem to be pretty cranked. I don't know why this happens, but do you want me to turn a down? Little- a little bit, maybe. Okay, uh, how, tell me, tell me how th- how's this? That's great. Perfect. Is that better for you? Yeah. Well, it's all right. We'll probably throw some. Uh, I'll probably throw like a U- Universal Audio LA two A. Yeah. On on us in 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 a group, you know, put us together. I might put us in like a room actually. Oh, I'd like of, that. Yeah, maybe kind an, of an ocean, ocean way thing. feel feel indeed uh, something. And that'd Just be a good T-shirt lines. too. Just ocean way feel. Ocean Way Field would be a good one, yeah. It's We're a good some... name for an album. It actually is. It's kind of like a Clapton record already, though. I know. Yeah, yeah. Okay, how are you doing, Johnny? I'm doing fine. Thanks, James. See, that'll make it so much easier. Actually, I should just record as well the Zoom, and then I can... Oh, see, yeah, that's what I thought you Yeah, did. I just keep forgetting. I just get too carried away with the, with the vibes. I know. That's the best. The Zoom recording sync up, I find to be in- very important. Dude, I love... We've got so good at this. I know. It's a great vibe. Yeah, it is. And we just hook up, and then we're like right... It's like, you know, not yeah, a lot... Right, you know, right like, in. we're just right into it, which is great. I, was, I mean, when you're doing something as important as the work we're doing, there's no time to. There's no time for small talk. And it's just like we're right in our element. You know, I don't even have any pants on right now. You know what I mean? I'm as I relaxed as you can get. Yeah, I'm in, I'm in a dark cupboard. It's not quite the same, but... That's because Sophie's going to be home mid pod. Yeah, but so you're still you know. that's you're in your comfort zone a little bit. Well, I'm in my kind of yeah, I am. It's my kind of. I'll do a lot of lot of my finest work in here. That's your church in there. I like to think of this cupboard space, kind of crawl space in my apartment, as my church. Yeah, yeah I know. I often, Just looking I often at a few birthdays for today here. Joni Mitchell, Clouds came out today. That's a pretty good one. Oh, great album. Great album, yeah. Actually, Song Judy from, Collins' birthday today. Yes, yeah, Stephen still had a posted. massive hit with both Joni Mitchell's Both Sides Now. Yeah, and she, um, uh, Stephen Stills posted a photo of him and her because, of course, sweet Judy Blue Eyes is Judy Collins. There you go. Yeah. Uh, which is kind of Little weird. Walter Blues, classic blues. Yeah, man. Rita Coolidge. Love her yeah. as well. Wonderful voice. Don't drink the Coolidge. Some great uh, duets with uh, Chris Christopherson. Yeah. Total Babe, too. Yeah. It was Vorman's birthday this week, which is pretty sick. I posted mm-hmm. a Ringo Starr song of his that he plays on that I like. I chose that. Oh, yeah. I'm the Greatest, songs. written by John Lennon. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Glenn Ballard. That's... American singer, lyricist, and producer best known for co-writing and producing Alanis Morissette's Jagged Little Pill. He was oh, yeah. also involved in the recording and writing of Michael Jackson's Thriller. Interesting. I'll tell you a story, actually, about the... I remember, and this is actually nice. I think it must be him, an interview with him one time, talking about like Alanis Morissette. You know, and he's got co-writes on a lot of those songs or whatever, he produ- or his producer, and she was so young. And they were interviewing him, and it was like, it's all, you find it on YouTube and shit. And being like, so like, you know, what did you do like to help her? You know, they go you in, you know, and he's like, I just stayed the hell away from fucking it up. Like, she, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I did nothing. Like those kind of talents come around like once in your career, you know. Definitely. Well, but if he was doing Thriller, I mean, twice maybe. I don't know. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> I would yeah. hope he'd stay out of the way on that one too. Imagine Ray Parker it. Jr., American guitarist, singer, Gotta be a Number two guy. single with Ghostbusters. Oh, okay. Well, He's the guy who sang Yeah, I remember the blues. We I were talking here, about the but, blues uh, continuum last time. What's that? The blues continuum. Oh, yeah. Like how it's like, it, it gets like it starts Robert Johnson style. And then it, it kind of gets like. What starts raw 
and authentic. You know what I'm, I mean? I'm, not a I lot of effects, know. not a lot of orchestration. Stoop, stoop kind of porch style. Yeah. 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 And then it goes kind of, then you, it often is like kind of people with like physical disabilities at that stage, like right. overcoming. Yeah. Barely yeah. even using a guitar. Yeah. It's often about a personal hardship or yeah. uh, something at that point, a good story. Yeah. As to why you're doing it. And then it becomes sort of opulent, sort of, yeah. you know, like rich, rich guy blues, John Mayer. Yeah. St- you know, that yeah, kind of Clapton. thing. Sort of corporate blues. Corporate blue chip blues. Eventually yeah, blue chip it blues. ends up in blue And then blues. that, everybody says, you know, AI oh, that's blues. bullshit. You know, that's not real blues. Yeah. And then what happens is they still make a ton of money off that corporate blues. It's always equally popular. Like but then Paul people Allen rebel against blues. it and it becomes again like the kind of porch um, style. Acoustic. A lot of acoustic stuff and yeah. like just less notes. Less, less of a band. Just less notes, really. Three chords and the truth. Yeah, I mean, I think that like, so if anyone listening is thinking of starting a blues career, I think that like we're kind of at the point that it's going to, we're going to have the great blues reset, which, and the last time we had a blues reset would have been like early white stripes, black keys, kind of, yeah. that would be the last time we had a great blues reset. Yeah, I mean, I think, what about kind of, well, that's the actual reset, you're right, that was where it the goes back to reset. authentic, but since goes, we've kind of got a bit like... Well, they've gone bloated, both those bands, obviously, Jack White's like, thinks he's like, the he's kind of on the, the growl style, just a gatekeeper of music in general. Yeah. Just like of the whole of music. He's just kind of like, I kind of, I'm turning on everyone to music. Like yeah. no one, no, no one even knew that there was such a thing. Before As punk, I can. Led Zeppelin, blues, yeah. just any to- anything and tone, kind of yeah. tone guy or lack of tone. Whatever. Yeah, like all the lack, like but like a real fixation, a lack of tone, like a lack of pedals, but a fixation on tone. Yeah. Exactly. You know? yeah. So no well, like effects. A lot of people would say, well, what was that thing maybe. we were watching where they talked about how Jack White <laughs> was like, not since Jimmy Page. It was like, they lumped him yeah. in on the, one of the people with the oh, signature Iovine. tone. Iovine did. He said yeah, every, that's right. guitarist, yeah. every guitarist, every guitarist, he's probably got like a deal with Jack, like a corporate kind of merger going on with Jack White on something. Oh. Yeah, but like, yeah, he said not like in the old days, like Mike Campbell when they were talking about Dama Torpedoes, and he was like, Mike Campbell, we we spent weeks w- trying to figure out which amp to make sure the guitar sounded completely different from any other record ever made, which they don't. Yeah, they just kind of sound like guitars. They sound good, and he's like, and that's the biggest difference now with music is guitarists don't do that. They all sound the same except for Jack White and the Edge. Well, because most of them are probably using like a Line 6 Spider type amp where they have just like an Edge or Jimmy Page preset. Setting. Yeah, So exactly. there's no originality, you know. It's, yeah, exactly. That makes total sense. Well, I mean, I've got this quote here on from Steven Seagal. Oh, yeah, yeah. On mastering the blues. <laughs> the quote that he has. He said, Little Milton hadn't heard me play before. I was doing this Lightning Hopkins thing. Milton looked at me and nodded, like, lo- nodded like he was trying to say. He didn't say this. This motherfucker ain't white. <laughs> so no one actually said it. He's just imbuing this from a, this is, a nod. Yeah. From little, that's what his you know. his ego is so sky high that he yeah. he just he speaks to like a blues legend, yeah. And in his mind, he's like, This guy thinks I'm like as good as all the all the original blues, great blues artists. 100%. I found a photo of Eric Clapton <laughs> wearing the pirate puffy shirt from Seinfeld. Amazing, yeah. Do you know what's funny is I <laughs> before we talk pirates. Like what going on that I was so grateful you found that account blues is everything. Well, yeah. Well, I mean, great name. Yeah, and sometimes and I just I was just having a great kind of, time the other night, but just yeah. like laugh. I was like, what is it with blues? Like <laughs> at that any time these guys are playing it, it's, I crack up because yeah, like it's just always like bluesy, you yeah, know? It's and they're very just bluesy. playing blues. Blues is fucking bluesy. <laughs> and it's always like. Burr, burr, 
do like Keith Richards with the cigarette in the middle just like playing some shitty solo on a, it's a in A. Like I know. why? Often in A. <laughs> it's always Most it's often in A. Key. Yeah. And then it was Clapton just like like examining a, yeah. a Martin signature Martin guitar. Nice. And he was doing like it's quite perfect, really. Yeah. You yeah. know, look at the flame on that one. Yeah, don't you've seen enough of that? Yeah, is it? He was well, no, doing listen. it, and then he just played some blues on it to Go test to it. Yeah. yeah, well, that's the only way to test a guitar yeah. is by playing yeah, some for sure, playing like a famous blues lick. Yeah, you know, yeah, probably kind of Layla acoustic blues. Yeah. Oh, like Layla, then unplugged Layla. Yeah, sort of. It was actually in the style of like what I mean, you know that first song on the unplugged album. It's sort of an instrumental. It's called like Signs or something. Strangely, I don't know it yeah it's like it, it, you know you should listen to it it's bluesy but it's kind yeah. of a bit more of a classical gas inspired i don't think we've talked of... enough about his like look his kind of like bill gates inspired kind of coffee shop look yeah in yeah. that era kind of looks a bit like a doctor maybe a doctor of the blues he's probably got a couple of doc like given to him <laughs> he's got a degree blues definitely doctor. in bluesology he has a bluesology That's degree true. yeah he does <laughs> PhD. You don't have to try that hard, I guess. Well, welcome to Impossible Way of Life. This is a Wednesday episode. Um, things are heating up. And um, I had a really nice uh, night last night, Johnny. It was Jeff's Great. birthday. Little little hang barbecue. The weather turned out nice, you know? Yeah, wonderful. I wish I wish I could have seen the gang. Yeah, I had a, you know, Brandon made me a veggie burger. Cool. Pretty cool. Yeah, we watched you, that. What kind watched, of it? What was the patty made of? We're talking actually, lentil or no, we talking? It, yeah, it wasn't really like it wasn't clear, but it wasn't like a kind of seitan, like rare satanic. Gluten. I mean, things got a little satanic. Yeah, I'll tell you that. But um, yeah, I watched. Uh, I watched that. I got really into that video of Elton John singing "I'm Still Standing" and from his garden where he's got like uh he's got a grand piano and a te- and like a basketball hoop and he's just kind of in his garden singing it and it sounds like he's had a stroke because he can't what? hit any of the notes anymore so he's i wonder like, yeah. <laughs> it's kind of a vic reeves pub singer energy for our uk listeners yeah if i'm being 100 percent honest uh, it looked like he just kind of posted up in somebody else's driveway to do that. It didn't. There was like a basketball hoop there, kind of and showing stuff. Like, off, having like a why is the hoop there? There's I no can't. I can't it. see him really shooting hoops. I, I don't no. know, but I could it be just, wrong. But I could be right. He might have a, like a killer crossover. Yeah, maybe he's probably you know like you know what he'd be good at. What do they call it when you like you kind of sh- pivot, you shield and pivot the ball? Yeah, he's kind, kind of, of box stocky. Out. Yeah, box out. Yeah, he'd be good at boxing out. <laughs> uh-huh. exactly. Yeah, he's probably a bit kind of a rebounder. I can yeah, see he's that. more of that kind of Rodman vibe. I'd like to see him and Billy Joel just go toe to toe one on one. You know yeah, what I mean? Settle it. Open stage night. Yeah, exactly. We'd like settle this in the key. In literally the key. <laughs> what key are we playing? What in? key? The one in my fucking driveway, yeah. asshole. Ombre. <laughs> exactly. What key, Elton? The one right out there. Yeah. Grab Settle the ball. this on the court. Mano e manos. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that kind Somehow, of feel. Elton Somehow. John's like, yeah. Yeah. You got a coffee there? You got a beer there? What you got? It's a beer. I'm double fisting a bit. I had a coffee before I started, so I'm a bit jazzed. Mm, good. Yeah. Um. Yeah, so I guess welcome to the show. Uh, we're doing something that... Actually, this dates back to our first ever episode. Uh, of impossible possible way of life that you know i think we started out of the gate maybe for like 10 15 minutes we were a little bit nervous we didn't really know what we were going to do and then all of a sudden james said i don't know how many words it is but they were magical words sort of like the first time crosby stills nash sang together yeah you said to me fleetwood mac has kind of a pirate vibe don't they johnny (laughs) <laughs> and then, you know, it was sort of like the gates opened and we were just out on the track and we never looked back, you know? The rock and roll, the gates to rock and roll heaven. Yeah, exactly. Open for us. Yeah. yeah. So today we decided, even though we talk about this all the time and probably because we didn't really, you know, think of an album or care to, we decided we're going to settle this once and for all 
Yeah. This whole pirate pagan pilgrim debate. It's yeah. a hot topic and we're here to sort it out for you. Well, it's we talked about Desire. Let's start there. Well, yeah, it's one of the most piratey albums there is, right? It's got yeah, and but he's trying I guess he's he's switched at some point to pirate from pilgrim. Yeah, I've got a I've got a list here. We, we'll yeah. get into the whole list cool. later, but let me just find Dylan on it because I, I got okay. a big list here. Well, actually, uh, for the for people who, because I get the benefit of the video here, and uh, for the people who are at home who are listening, what Johnny's showing me in his room behind him is this massive wall. It's a huge wall, uh, kind of like a I don't know if you've seen Memento or Beautiful Mind. Mm-hmm. It's that kind of setup. So it's a dark, dark room, and. Uh, True Detective you, yeah. season one episode seven, I believe, is kind of like a, he's got the garage set up. We're talking, yeah. There's a kind cork board. Of, there's a whiteboard. Yeah. There's a lot of things taped. There's a lot of yeah. thumbtacks involved. Yeah. Um, so you've obviously but, you done know, a lot more yeah. research than me on this, Johnny, because yeah. you've got a whole kind of you know like homicide unit style investigation, kind yeah. of first forty eight kind of energy. Yeah, just trying to, it's like, but I tell you, it's hard, man. It's like trying to solve pie, you know? Yeah, well, well, some things, you know, the thing is with this is like, often the most rock and roll journalists sort of of the frick school have Mm -hmm. kind of left, best left unsolved. Right, well, you know, I mean, on that note, we could just sign off right here. (laughs) Yeah, exactly. (laughs) No, we're going to solve it. We're rock and roll journalists you know, of the new generation, you know. That's true. And it's, yeah, you know, that's it's true. not easy. Well, I'll so. tell you, I think for sure that Dylan began as a pilgrim. Of course. Uh, yeah, like the early, you know, in the Woody Guthrie style. Yeah. But quickly, I'm not too sure when, shifted to pirate, definitely in the 70s. Well, I Rolling think kind Thunders of when he hooked pirate. up with the band, really. Yeah, but they're kind of the American... We've talked about like that because they're the American storybook, right? They're like, they're fully like from the American tradition. Them and Grateful Dead kind of a bit like, I think they're more like carnival clown music. Well, that's hilarious that and uh, really interesting you say that because I've also, I couldn't just do Pirate, Pilgrim, and Pagan. I have some what I call sub categories. Yeah. That uh, I've got Vampire. Yeah. Which is, I consider pirate adjacent. Okay. Then I've got clown. Yeah. Which is a big category for me on here. Yeah. Clown is, uh, I haven't quite figured it out, but I. I, 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 It's kind of its own category, really. Yeah. And then I've got carnival, which I find also to be pirate adjacent. Carnival music is pirate adjacent, but also pilgrim. It's kind of in between. Yeah. What do you call those things? Those like uh, graphs? That there's little bits in between that kind of go over both sides. Yeah, exactly. It's it, that's what it is. It's what a, kind, it's a, what's that called? It, yeah, it's like a family tree kind of thing. But like you know, it's like a pie style it, kind of thing. Chart, pie chart, kind of. But there's circles within circles, and then there's overlapping right, circles. A web, that's an idea web, a kind mind of map, a, a mind thought map. shower. Yeah, sure. Well, I think that that's what this is. That's how this needs to look, personally. Yeah, because these so we have to make it. Well, I mean, I can see you've tried already. Looking behind you, buddy. This is just this is just this you is know just a work in room. progress. This is just the what my mind working through this. We have to finish it and make it official, like those like you know family trees of like prog rock and where it all began yeah. and all that. You know, because this is bigger than this. Like, yeah. Carnival, carnival to me personally is based a lot on organ sound. Yeah, has to have a, a heavy organ featured in the band. So, like for instance, I got the band, yeah, the majorly. animals, the guess who. Are to they me, carnival? are kind of carnival. I mean, definitely like the zombies. Zombies are my fourth that I have uh, in yeah. the carnival. Yeah, like kind they're of a dark, carnival to me. They're like kind of like a curiosity room, though. Yeah. Like kind of like the freaks, yeah. Like you go and see yeah. like, which is was basically just was just retarded people, wasn't it back then? But yeah. So you know, there's a lot to break down here. But I guess we'll, we'll there's start, also why don't I, no, why don't no, I go just, down my yeah. list of pirates here? It's just who I got, I'm just, but, and you tell yeah. me. Uh, you got me thinking you about the English, 
See, in England, I've got to write this down because in England, that's going to be really different. The carnival is going to cross with very different things. Carnival, just before you go into this. I yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. carnival's going to oh, cross. By all with, means, take your time. Carnival's going to cross with, with pagan in England. It's not going to cross with pirate. Cause it's gonna I cross know with that. The main, yeah, it's gonna it, cross carnival with, like, is crawl. also clown. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. to an extent. But clown's its own subgenre. And if yeah, you keep folding, well, but but carnival can is a is a subgenre of clown and pirate combined a little bit. And pagan, I'm saying the yeah. may, maypole dancing around the maypole. Yeah, very, exactly. Very yeah. carnival. No, pagan. no, uh, you're not wrong. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so you start with your pirates. Okay, so I've got Keith Richards, who yeah. you know that he's kind of the yeah the head pirate. Is he Tom Waits? Classic pirate, or kind of a barroom pirate. Yeah. Captain Beefheart, Frank Tom, Zappa. Tom Waits is a bit, a bit carnival. <laughs> well, that's what I'm saying. Carnival comes out. It's when it's not right. full pirate, but yeah. there's elements of it, right? Like I'm not going to yeah. say the band or pirate. Like no, 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 because they're definitely pilgrim too. They are pilgrim too. Yeah, exactly. They're kind of like, like you can't yeah. put the put no. The it's finger a spectrum. On. I don't think thing. they're full pilgrim. It's a spectrum thing. It's like sexuality. Yeah. Yeah. We got uh, Bruce Springsteen, and I also have what? here next he's to what? him he's Carnival a as well. He's a pirate? What? You think Bruce Springsteen's a pirate? Yeah, only because he earring? single-handedly inspired the most pirate music that came later. Okay. Like the Arcade be... Fire, Decembrists, Mumford & Sons, that kind of stuff. I kind think. of anthem indie. Yes, exactly. Like the hey-ho stuff. Yeah, but again, another artist with uh, with a, a long storied career. So his early stuff could be considered pagan or pilgrim. Well, I would say I his know. early stuff is pirate because he's got the like mujahideen kind of one earring kind of ahoy yeah. matey look, and the music's a little bit kind of more on. The, and but then when he goes to the docks, he's more Union Man pilgrim. And then we yeah. know what happened when he moved, and then he just like completely changed his voice and and moved to like the middle of the country. Yeah, no, no, no. Kinda... He did go pilgrim, but like, yeah. yeah, no, it's true. He's he's a tough he's a tough cookie to crack. He's I'm definitely not pagan. The, I'm gonna throw him in the post Dylan playbook of like he's kind of like pilgrim because he was doing Dylan at first. And he was doing early Dylan. He was just copying Dylan's voice even a right. bit. So he's kind of like copying dylan's career trajectory starting pilgrim yeah but dylan's pretty through. pirate too by that you know what i mean well, mid-70s, that time, that's what yeah. i'm saying yeah but like, he's not he's moving at the same speed yeah exactly okay so you got uh, i got there. some weird ones on here okay so <laughs> still on the pirates yeah oh, oh yeah. yeah um okay so uh I, laura nairo uh <laughs> put her on the pie i think because it's kind of a a bit of a, I think of her as a sort of bit of a gypsy energy there, but like less of the pagan oh. Stevie Nicks side. Yes, yeah, more and, kind of like Duende. Yeah, at like, kind of a like her and Janis woman. Joplin, both pirates to me. Like uh, the, she's the next one. Fleet, kind of uh, what about, a lot of uh, flowing silk, sort of like dresses and sort of Andalusian, you know. huh? Andalusian. A sailor's wife kind yeah, of energy? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, or just exactly kind of a... Yeah, that kind of thing. <laughs> just kind of staring off into the sun kind of as it goes down over the waves. Exactly. About she like... sells seashells by the seashore kind of thing. Okay, right. Like a tongue twister? Yeah. Yeah. That kind of stuff. It's more thing. about the clothing. Oh, because this is more aesthetics. That, yeah, I would say. Okay. Linda Ronstadt a bit, too, as a bit of a pirate feel. But isn't she witchy woman? Yeah, I mean, eagles are definitely pagan. <laughs> no, that's just because they're demonic. Yeah, and same with the Pete Townsend, like, purely to do with just, like, child sacrifices, you know? Yeah, yeah, exactly. So Clapton would be a... I don't have him on my list. Well, Curious I, where you he, placed I, him. Well, I've got a lot to say about that, actually. <clears throat> so uh, we've got the rest of Fleetwood Mac to me are pirate, obviously, besides Stevie Nicks, who's pagan. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Okay, and that, that's all I've got uh, on here for. Uh, well, what pirate. about Jim? I mean, so I feel far. like like 
I was thinking about the pirate lineage. Mm-hmm. And for me, it's kind of all about the Alabama song. Like the Jim Morrison Doors. Bar, it's a Bartol Brecht song from right. like the 30s. Right. Which is like full pirate clown energy. Right. You know? I see what you're saying. So Okay. You th- so like oh. music and it has like the organ, right? Yeah. So it's yeah. definitely kind of Yeah, no, good point. I mean, majorly, the doors are like they're clown, you know. Yeah, like, so they're, they're but they're clown pirate. Yeah, exactly. They are. There's definitely But, but there's Jim also a lot of vampire kind of, energy there too. But according to Luke, vampire is pirate. Oh, you've checked in with Luke. Happy yeah. birthday, Luke. Yeah, his birthday's coming up. Isn't it today? Is it might be today, yeah, May 1st. Yeah, I think it is. Isn't he doing? Did you see his set list for his show that he's playing? Amazing, his own birthday show. I've been to one of those birthday backyard birthday party Luke birthday parties at Liberty. It's a good time. I just go through this this set list he's playing at his own birthday. He's getting years. probably Dan Horn and the yeah. gang in the band. Yeah, I mean it's tough here because I'm I'm reading. There's a lot of text messages here, so. I'm asking the context. Okay, this is what he's playing. So look at this. The set list for his own birthday party. Oh, he, with what? You think he's playing? It's kind of a good time, boys energy? Yeah, it, well, and, and the horn horn, and, you know. Yeah, friend of the pod. Yeah, and um, probably, oh, who knows, maybe some of the Mapache gang, Austin McCutcheon, those, that yeah. crowd, you know? He's going to oh, they're opening the set. I'm not ruining this for anyone because I think they're doing it tonight, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's like yeah. op- they're opening a set with a cover of Mysterious Ways by U2. Love that. <laughs> Straight into It Ain't Over Till It's Over. Lenny Kravitz. Wicked. Yeah, you really like that record, right, Mama Said? I love it. Yeah, I do. You have know, a lot to say about how clever it is that the song Mama Said isn't called Mama Said. And it oh, is. yeah. You love Always that Always on shit. the run, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Slash. Well, the albums. Pirate. Said. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Slash major pirate energy. Oh, yeah. GNR, big time pirates. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> totally. What's well, a Sunset Strip kind of thing, like in yeah, many ways, you know? It is. I guess it is. Which is why I would put the gym in it. Yeah, no, you're right. I just, you threw me off with the clown thing about how they were the biggest clown band. But if a clown's well, not Beach a genre, right, we're doing the three, band. then it's pirate. Well, clown's a sub genre. Yeah, it is. It's a yeah, it's like same as vampire. Because I don't know the three pirate pilgrim pagan where to put. Here's like where my vampires are at: Beatles, Nilsson, Jagger, not Richard. Where are we at right now? Bo- Bowie, Lou Who's Reed. This, this I wasn't is what? Sure. Who? No, this is what. This is still pirates. What? Are we this on? is vampire. Okay, vampire. Okay. Yeah. You know. Okay. So yeah. uh, Dracula's. Go, go through them again one time. Lou Reed, Bowie. Jagger, Nilsson, Beatles. These yeah. are vampires. Yeah. But not Draculas. Well, Bowie, Bowie, Lou Reed, and Jagger to me are Draculas a bit. Well, yeah, we've confirmed that. Yeah. I mean, we know <clears> that. And Beatles and Nilsson is just the whole Hollywood vampires kind what of thing. About and Macca, the like though? partying, staying up late vibe. McCartney's not. He's like a eunuch or something. Yeah, but the Beatles, the more I've been I've been checking in with this Graham Nash audio book and the, nice. he talks a lot about the Beatles early days and that yeah. they were like the craziest, wildest up all night band in the north of England at that time. They I were the bad boys. That. They were the vampires. Even then. Even then? Pre-vampire. Yeah, they kind of started it a little bit, you know. I feel like we need to set this up. Like, you know those like animal kingdom like classification charts mm-hmm. so it'd be like kingdom phylum class yeah. order and then like family and stuff yeah i know like the kingdom is like probably blues yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> Well, and it's then all it kinda, blues it's well, all blues. well yeah so it's the kingdom is is like blues based music and then it goes down from there in like the first kind of classes are like pirate pagan pilgrim and then it's right. kind of like family uh within that you know right. you know what i mean it's kind of yeah. like within that family like you have like pirate clown and there's also pagan carnival pirate carnival well it gets like there's cross even lower. there's cross breeding well and then on. you have like the genus which is that kind of like yeah, right a t- lot of whole lot of cross pollination mm-hmm. and then you end mm-hmm. up with like the specific epithet which is like 
Jim Morrison. And they're at the bottom of this like massive, like kind of classification chart. Like they're using like scientists because we're doing science. Yeah, I know that's what it is. I mean, we may have to consult at some point a scientific professional about a lot of, um, you know, what, what our conclusions, quite I'd frankly. Love, I'd love to like um, imagine how many of these artists we're talking about like well the living ones there's not many left but like have like honorary doctorates like our oh, prefer- oh, yeah. doctors oh, like yeah, doctors yeah, yeah, of yeah, music yeah. we should ask well, someone like that in blues or whatever though yeah. they do like well never, yeah like i'm a yeah. doctor like i am a doc like an honorary berkeley like degree in like blues history yeah that'd be great <laughs> yeah. yeah we should ask one of those people they'll take yeah. it seriously well, I'd like to have one of those eventually. Well, I can only, I can safely assume that's going to happen or something. Yeah. You know, just kind of in podcasting or something. That's probably like a degree you can get now. Podcasting? At Harvard. Yeah. Dude, you can there just... is like, you can see like crazy stuff come up on like my Facebook and stuff about that, where it'd be like a three week intensive learn to podcast <laughs> like course for like two thousand dollars to like for three zoom classes with like where you learn how to speak properly on a podcast and like (laughs) learn how to like put ads in at the right time to max out like interest and how to generate income stuff like that unbelievable none of these people realize that anyone in the world could do this well and i'd like to just tell all of our fans right now you know and a lot of you i know would probably love to you have a lot of hot takes you have a lot of ideas amazing videos things we get sent probably you know Be better than y- you think that. about coming on our show and all this i say just start a podcast seriously y- you know what I mean? Like, it'll probably be better than ours. I We're mean. lovers, not haters. We're not yeah. going to bogart the joint here. Start it and, you know, start you it. You've got let's ideas. Set, let's Put settle them out this, there. Settle this on the key. Yeah. Blues. And you know what? We'll eventually, we'll all get together. Be kind of like the Monterey of podcasting. Exactly. Yeah. And, you know, we'll be, yeah, sure, we'll probably not play because we'll be kind of like the Paul, Sun- well, no, he played. Or the Beach Boys of, yeah. of the Monterey Pop Festival. For sure. Yeah. Well, we're certainly at least Dylan. Yeah. Exactly. So we're probably, well, we fucked off. We fucked off by that point. Yeah. Beatles, probably. Yeah. But. We're kind of, we'll help organize it. Sure. We'll, we'll ha- even lend our name sure. to the cause. Or I like to think of the whole thing as like one big blues jam. Yeah, you know what way. I mean? Yeah, and I it's do. just like, we choose the key. You know, we've, we pick well, the key. We, we pick a. the key. It's A. A major. Yeah, it's A major. You guys, just pick up a guitar, jam with us. Pick, pick up a mic. The wall. Jam with us. Yeah. Choose your choose your axe. Choose your exactly. weapon. That's it. That's all I mean. It's, it's oh. easy. <laughs> no, but a lot of these people, uh, you know, I, I, I've noticed that uh, yeah, we, we love our fans, but, you know, a lot some... We've been noticing some kind of aggressive energy. Well, I would say kind of Manson esque energy. Yeah, I'm starting to feel a little bit like we might need like a personal security. I'm feeling a little bit like Dennis Wilson right now. Like I got too close to people, and I was feeling like I was feeling myself, and I was thinking. But then, then it's kind of getting a little bit like kind of um, basic instinct. Yeah, actually, I <laughs> I'm thinking like fatal attraction. Kind That's of. what I meant. Like, actually, when I said <laughs> like basic people, instinct. pretty soon people are going to be like showing up at my house and being like that episode you did, like you were talking about me, right? Yeah. When you were and doing I don't that. want Glenn Close or anyone who looks like Glenn Close showing up at my fucking house. And I'll be like, how could I be talking about you, man? You yeah, know what I mean? It's exactly. about me. It's about me and James and maybe yeah, Alex. If it's a love, if it's a love, it's a love podcast, one. maybe Freedom, Alex. Freedom, yeah. God give, you know, and we're just, and the, I'll be out there and, the, well, we've paid the crowd to sing along. So it's yeah. a whole stadium of people. Free, it's your God given, right? G, G, G. This is well, our, it's A, right, actually, G, for us. It's G, A for us. Our right, it's our e podcast. Minor. <laughs> no, it's A because it's, it's actually our podcast. So yeah. it has to be A. Yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. right, A. Yeah. This is our right, A. To sing along with and have D. your own podcast. D. You can do E7. whatever you E7. want. E7, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Don't kill me for telling you that Clapton is bluesy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. But, you know. So, anyway, but, yeah. Big Just that kind of thing. Yeah, we, we love Big we things love coming. All. We're actually almost, we're like halfway to a Doom Tour box set. So if you really want to fucking, if you really want to fuck with us, 
Give us more money on Patreon, because once we hit five hundred dollars, we're we gonna have, have to, to spend <laughs> that five hundred dollars on this Doom Tour box set. No, listen to this. If you really want to fuck with us, give us more money. Because when we get to five hundred dollars, we have to give five hundred dollars to David Crosby. I know, literally, <laughs> we have to pay David Crosby. <laughs> He's just, David, I just bought my second Tesla Crosby, who's complaining about being broke. We have to pay him. Yeah. yeah. Well, which he would think is a, a completely the correct arrangement. I was talking to Alex yesterday and saying to her about how we have to buy the box set when it comes out. And I was yeah. like, <laughs> I was like, that's you're going to probably want to go stay somewhere else yeah. like that night because it's going to get dark we're talking james and i are going to have to black out the windows oh it's one of those it's that style it's rambo like it's right, eight hours watch eight hours of the worst live footage yeah. ev- that ever existed i know, I know. But we are gonna have to do that it's gonna get really really dark and sleazy in there well i mean we'll probably should just that could be kind of we not you know kind of the start of the road movie that is the next 50 episodes of impossible way of life because we'll be on, yeah we'll be channeling shit i think I that that's the only way you can really uh, you know uh because it's kind of like i feel like it's kind of like clockwork orange energy with that doom tour box set like <laughs> that yeah, all if we don't view. if we don't make an event of it we're just going to be strapped to a chair with like our eyes forced yeah. open we could twitch stream the whole thing i was yeah. watching the whole thing yeah in we diapers should. not allowed to leave <clears throat> anyway okay i'll move on to my pagan yeah, people here that's see it. what yeah, you think of this absolutely so so true Jimi hendrix Definitely. pink floyd yeah. Dr. John. Well, it's just because he's got that kind of gree, 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 gree kind of voodoo, voodoo stuff going voodoo, on. Voodoo, yeah. voodoo, yeah, you know. Donovan. Giacomo Finae. I, I thought Donovan, kind of pagan, you know, color, wear your love like heaven, sort of that kind of. No, I don't know, man. I'm thinking more like kind of West Coast pop art experimental band, John Phillips. Yeah, John you know, Phillips like for sure. That kind of feel. That uh, kind of Leonard like. Cohen. Definitely pagan to me. A lot of religious imagery and yeah. you know a lot of sex, a lot of ritualistic sex yeah. stuff going sure, on. Sure, yeah, I understand. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Stevie Nicks we covered. Van Morrison into the mystic. You yeah. know, yeah, yeah. Uh, Led Zeppelin to me. Well, definitely I mean, stop because with Van Morrison, the thing is with Van Morrison and Led Zeppelin is now you're kind of getting into this like UK pagan energy, which is different right. than the American style. It's different from the Stevie Nicks style. Because right. these guys, like, it's UK pagan carnival style energy. Because, like, Van Morrison, Led Zeppelin doing, like, traditional folk as well as blues. Like, they're doing right. traditional, like, kind of pagan folk music. Wiccan kind of, you know, Wicker Man, Stone Circles, Stonehenge, that kind yeah. of thing. Along with Fairport Convention. Well, I thought they were more pilgrim. I thought Nick no, Drake. No, pagan. Pagan Nick, as fuck, man. Really? That's I mean, pagan? Nick Drake's okay. a bit different, but I think that I think that like yeah, Sandy Denny is like because Pilgrims American only. I think okay, yeah. I think that it's just. I mean, they you know, listen. It comes from England, right? The Pilgrims, but yeah, you know. No, I think the Pilgrims are kind of Steinbeckian, kind right? Of, you know, little gay bundle on your back, walking across the Oregon Trail. A little bit of fear of the other, you know. I also think, out. yeah. Kind I also of, think Pilgrim yeah. is it also in my in my view of it. Pilgrim is sort of a wholesome, at least a reasonably wholesome image. Okay, a little yeah. bit. I think that pagan and pirate is way more party scene. Yeah, big Pilgrim, time. Pilgrim, like you know, I kind of got Christian. You know, as people well bit, like maybe. Paul Simon. He's a hundred percent. You know, Carol King, uh, Gordon Lightfoot, even Neil Young. I think Pilgrim. Not yeah. a big partier, you know, more yeah, of a troubadour. Yeah, no, I think you're completely right. Yeah. I think that the pilgrim is kind of like folk adjacent. Yes. It comes out of like Guthrie and stuff. But like, here's the thing. This is why Clapton is really hard to kind of fit into this. Yeah. It's because blues kind of isn't, blues is like above it. In a, it all is it blue. It all comes from blues. Yeah, it all. I mean, so that's kind of a different. It's flowing yeah. from blues. Yeah. You know? So it's I that kind of thing. That's why like Steven Seagal, for example, like he's not even of this kind of species because he's no. just like in a blues species. 
Yeah, no, I know. Blues is hard to pinpoint. In la- yeah. I mean, Cream is kind of pagan. You'd have to do the different yeah. bands of Clapton. That's true. Cream you know, has like pagan. You're more, mostly talking about like what they're dressed like, aren't you? Oh, it's just, it's aesthetic to me. Yeah, a bit. You know it's what an I mean. And then choice. you mix in the music. Well, you know, we were. Uh, you know, I think that we were. Uh, we were probably wearing white bell bottoms at the time. You know, um, because they would have dress up to play the Albert Hall. You know, blues invented blues. <laughs> Blues, yeah. invented yeah. blues. I was looking up the definitions of the words pirate, pilgrim, and pagan on the uh, Merriam-Webster dictionary. Wasn't really any yeah. help at all. <laughs> pilgrim, one who journeys in foreign lands, wayfarer. Mm-hmm. So, you know, I often think of, of that kind of thing with the, you know, someone who kind of made the pilgrim. Like Neil Young, for instance, from made Canada the, to L.A. The, yeah, he made yeah. the Joni's pilgrim. Exactly. Joni's totally pilgrim. Just because she traveled you know, in a car once. Uh, the, w- w- delights in sensual pleasures and material Dionysian. goods. Yeah. Hedonistic. Dionysian. Yeah. Hedonistic. That's, yeah. yeah. That makes sense. But druids. Also little... Witches. Druids. druids. Yeah. Goddesses. That's the English ones. You know. Yeah. I agree. So I'm just on this. <laughs> I was like, just sidetrack here, sidebar mm-hmm. for a second. I'm on this. I'm on this. Uh, website sometimes i just type things into google when we're doing this that like make me laugh to think that like there might be someone who's written something that my search like pulls up so (laughs) earlier on i typed in uh blues as a martial art and that's where all the steven seagal (laughs) stuff comes from Oh, yeah. Cuz someone's like kind of like equating blues to like like harness marshalling the art of blues as wow. if it and there's a great article here I'm just reading it right now. Okay. This, this is a quote from him. Talk it's on it's actually on the website bluesandsoul.com. <laughs> Incredibly. He says here like <laughs> unlike martial arts this is a quote this is a quote from Steven Seagal. Oh my God. Unlike martial arts, you don't have to be purple, green, yellow, black, or white, or any color to play any specific kind of music. He says, blues is not about deprivation or sadness or having been through terrible times. It's about expressing your heart. I don't know how to play jazz rock or any of that stuff. I'm a blues guy. Nice. He doesn't need anyone's approval. No. I, he says he's not doing this interview because I need your approval. <laughs> or the people who read your periodicals, I don't need their approval. I've jammed with B.B. King, Bo Diddley, and John Lee Hooker. <laughs> this is crazy. Absolutely crazy. Have you ever heard him play? He can't play anything. He's horrible. There's yeah. that one video that's insane where he's like, man, man. There's some sweet, sweet photos. There's some sweet photos of him here. It looks like he doesn't even really know how to hold the guitar. No, I don't think so. Also, it's just insane and demented that he probably thinks that he's also like the greatest martial arts. Like that someone could in their mind think that they're the best martial artist and blues guitarist at the same time in the world. Dude, this is crazy. Listen to this shit. Yeah. This is about a record he did. And he's like, it says here, this is a review. This album is perhaps the most historically (laughs) important musical document. As Stephen has assembled a mouthwatering lineup of blues legends, Bo Diddley, Robert Lockwood, James Cotton, Stevie Wonder. These people (laughs) all on this? Why are they on this? We There's need loads. to, dude, we need to dig into this more. This, this is Stamos album. level. Yeah. yeah. We need to figure this out. Yeah. His Sigal. band Thunderbox is a real who's who of the top session guys, including Muddy Waters' son and Marty Greb. Who are these people? I don't know who Marty Greb is. These guys Greb have played is, with the likes the rest of Springsteen. Rang a bell. Edder James. Eric Clapton's here again, obviously. He's everywhere. Edder right? James? Yeah, they've played. All these guys have played with Edder James. It's about 150. Oh, I see. I thought you meant she was on that Seagal she's in, record. Yeah, she's on, the, she, <laughs> she's on it. Yeah, this is great. Oh, jeez. You know, that's this is, wild. So yeah, I don't think that Clapton, <clears throat> as a solo artist, fits into any of the. Uh, it's just blues. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know, which is kind of clown to me. It's, it's demented. It's clown a bit. Blues is clown. It like goes full circle. 
It depends if it's Clapton style. I don't know. Clown blues. <laughs> like not not if not if you're Etta James, but No, that's pretty blue. Uh, okay, so I got to get into this clown because I was laughing my ass off today because I realized that <laughs> I didn't even think about this that the 90s was the decade where the clown music really took off. <laughs> Like <laughs> I figured it out. I was blown I was blown away and I started thinking of bands and it just they just kept coming. All these clown groups that were massive in the So 90s. this is like clown but coming through pirate? Goof rock. No, oh, it's like it's clown actual... and it's joke rock. Okay. Like you know Tenacious what I mean? D? Like, yeah. Like Jack Black or something? No, like okay, so we got clown, Beach Boys, Doors. Yeah, you that's know. The, they started clown. Yeah. Beach and you know, because it's kind of funny. L.A. clown music. Veg- I'm gonna beat round yeah. my vegetables. 100%, you know, yeah. and then Lots, I've started actual, thinking like, about literally ween. clown horns. Yeah, exactly. Uh, 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 uh. Like they both yeah, kind of and have, the horns. Yeah. yeah. Okay, ween. Yeah, they're a clown band. Ween clown. You know, Weezer <laughs> clown. <laughs> clown. You know, clown incel. Yeah, 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 yeah. Clown, yeah, yeah. clown hashtag ha- clown of forward slash incel band. Yeah, bare naked ladies, Canadian, clown, but you yeah, know what I mean? Cana- Canada, Canada is just music. clown. <laughs> no, whatever, Canada yeah. is a country, is clown country. Yeah, all of its music is clown music that's come out of Canada. Every I can't think of a single band that's not a clown band that's ever come out of Canada. Yeah, no, it's true. We're all clown up here. Yeah. Guess who are total clown? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. yeah. everything. So Unless they lo- move to America, some of these- <laughs> it's different. If they move to America, then they they don't have to be clown anymore. But if you stay, this included everything. They take off the done, shoes the and the nose and they yeah, go to exactly. LA. Yeah. But when you're in Canada, if you, you're like you know Moxie Fruvus or something like all oh, <laughs> clown music, the tragically hip are clown. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Crash test dummies, clown, total clown. Yeah. <laughs> So a lot of these you might disagree with, but they'll get better. Okay. Beck, I thought kind of clown. clown. A little yeah, bit, clown, you know what I mean? Yeah. He's definitely with a shotgun wedding and a stain on my shirt. Yeah, he's kind of like you know. Yeah, no, I get it. Odalay's very clown. Clown as a record. Green Day, clown. Kind of clown. You know, it's what interesting I mean? like because clowny. it's like almost in the nineties, <laughs> clown became one of the like classes instead of the fam, like the subgenres. Yeah, it took over. It took over. Fuck. Decemberists, a pirate clown. Yeah, and then but okay, so like oh, you neutral know, milk sh- these ones I'm not so sure about. Sugar Ray, Sublime, clown, pretty I clowny. Yeah. <laughs> Sublime's pretty clown, I think. Well, I know it's <clears> actually, <throat> and that makes sense now that they would be that Mark McGrath would be covering a Sublime song with Mike Love. Exactly, yeah. the originator of clown, Mike Love. Yeah. Mike yeah. Love is the original clown. He's Music the guy. first clown. clown. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And so it makes total sense, actually. If yeah, you think of it in this kind of lineage. That yeah, he would listen to Sugar Ray and be like, "Great band, obviously big fans of the Beach Boys." Yeah, big into and clown, Sublime. Clown we music. hear we yeah. hear Sublime as being these like re- like guys just like white guys doing reggae. Yeah, kind of clown sur. I think of them as being surfer, kind of Australian music. Skater, skater, surf. clown, rap, surf, punk, rap. Yeah, blues. <laughs> well, it's all blues, I mean, but they're all, bluesy too. They are quite bluesy. Like, but so it makes sense though that Mike Love would hear it and be like, "We yeah. got to get Mark McGrath on stage with us." And well, we, <laughs> we got to do a, a Sublime cover. Dude, this is so crazy. You're so right. That like all this list, I didn't even think about this. That it's McGrath playing right. with the Beach Boys yeah. doing a sublime yeah, cover full, is the it's most clown, clown thing. It's like a clown holy trinity. Like it's like <laughs> it's like it's the, the father, son, and holy ghost. All- it's father, son, holy ghost. The whole thing. Mike's the father, McGrath is the son, and the Holy Ghost is like shit sublime song no, that they Well, because the guy he died. died. He died. The sublime I singer. Know. He's yeah. the Holy Ghost. I know. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> oh my listen, God. we might be laughing now, but we're going to have to start taking this real seriously and have some Whoa. tough conversations. After about this, it. I got a busy night of updating my whiteboard. <clears throat> yeah, I can see that. Your mood board. So then I got four more that are pretty good. Definite clown. Foo Fighters. Big clown time clown. Major clown yeah. energy. Yeah. Cake. Clown, <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, like that's a big clown band. Full clown, yeah. Like just adds yeah. all jokes. I yeah. like a girl with a that's the yeah. long with a jacket long skirt, or something. Yeah. Fucking and reluctantly a crouched at the starting line. Yeah. Oh my god. Presidents of the United Huge, States of America, yeah, massive clown band. <laughs> so clown, dude. yeah. Exactly. And then finally, Offspring. 
big clown. Pretty fly for a white yeah. guy. Yeah, clown. No, big clown. It's funny because all of that music. I guess the 90s, everyone was just like, things are fine. Yeah. Everything's like pre 9 11. It's like, everything's fine, man. No edge needed. They're just you like, know let's who else? Around. Who is clown from that scene? Is that band that. Oh, they. They're not good, and they, but everyone likes them, especially in North America. People like them at the time, and they're kind of like the singer died young, and they're also like in the, they're kind of in my mind they're in the sublime universe, but right. they should have been massive. And the singer died. Oh fuck, I'll remember the name. Blind Melon. Yeah, them, them exactly. <laughs> yeah, that's clown. That's kind of clown. Clown. I even think Red Hot Chili Peppers kind of oh, stuff. Major <laughs> clown. <laughs> They got socks on their dicks, for God's it's, sake. Well, like, I'm, old, I'm like kind of interested. It makes me wonder about the Abbey Road picture now by them. If that's like McCartney, if they're kind of like, he's a clown. Well, he in, he was in like Sergeant Pepper's clown of the Beatles. Yeah. Because like he took that from, from Pet Sounds. So yeah. he saw what the Beach Boys were doing and he's like, yeah, we I, I like British this version. clown thing that's starting yeah. up in California. Starting up, <laughs> not even in, just at the whiskey. Just at the whiskey a go-go. <laughs> I like this cl- and people think <laughs> that it's like it's just about like geniuses but no they just kind of like when you actually talk to McCartney he's like no it was fully just about the clown kind of music yeah. thing that was happening yeah. so he's like how do I do the clown thing with the Beatles yeah. Sergeant Pepper's like this kind of goofy yeah, group no, totally, with like yeah. all these horns and cl- sound effects well he just got really into cl- he kind of continued in the clown continuum yeah Obladi Oblada would be the first time like reggae got involved with clown with clown that's yeah, sublime exactly. and that is just sublime totally reggae and then you know max meets. bang bang maxwell yeah. silver <laughs> yeah, <whole> <laughs> uh, uh, uh. just like horns bang, going bang, off bang, everywhere bang. <laughs> what is this? just so clown yeah mccartney's full clown yeah he <laughs> is yeah and lennon's pagan yeah definitely yeah yeah definitely. and that's the kind of that's the kind of and george is pilgrim and that's the kind of i'm the lukewarm water mm-hmm. you know one of and fire R- ringo's and ice. full vampire well, yeah, I mean, he's just... And he's probably a Dracula, actually. Yeah, he probably is. But yeah. no, he isn't, because he doesn't care what people think about his opinion. He doesn't have opinions on anything. No, he's that's just what a, I mean. Like He's just yeah. a playboy, a kind of empresario in, like, a velvet tux, just having a great time. Oh, yeah. Definitely. He can probably... The thing is with Ringo, he can probably just walk around, and no one would know it's Ringo. You know what I mean? He can hide if he wants. Until he flashes the peace sign. Well, I mean, yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah, who y- said y- something about didn't John Lennon invent the devil horns? Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah that makes sense. <laughs> it's Aussie so pagan, right? You know, I yeah, partly you know. clown though. I just think that you know all these people coming out and saying that that Ringo didn't invent the peace sign, that it was a World War II thing. Ridiculous. I just think you should be ashamed yeah, you of yourself. Be. You should be. Do your research. It's Why there. let yeah. let him be? Let him be. Give him that. Give peace you know? a chance. He's got nothing else. He's got nothing. Well, he's got. Don't pass me by. That's it. That's Octopus's garden. Really clown. <laughs> Very clown. <laughs> Yellow <laughs> submarine helped a lot of the Yellow submarine's of pretty clowny. Magical mystery is just bit a bit clowny actually. Oh my god! And a the big Beatles Paul, clown. big Paul one. Yeah. <laughs> the Beatles might be clown. Well, the Paul side. Well, at the some jump, point you have yeah. to choose. At first, they're just blues. Yeah, of course. And then yeah. when they have to, then they kind of like go to the crossroads, and you have to decide what you want to be. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm <laughs> thinking? We're discovering right now what that it's not Pilgrim, Pirate, and Pagan, even though that feels good because they yeah. all begin with P. It's actually Pilgrim, Clown, Pagan. Yeah, it seems. And like Pirate it. is a subgenre of Clown. It seems a like, bit, like it feels. I just that think way. it's a fourth category, dude. No, honestly, yeah, no. really. No, I don't know. If you I want. mean, well, no, it's a subgenre. I mean, pirates big. Pirates yeah. big. It's big, dude. Yeah, it's big. I don't know, but I think the Beatles. Yeah, I'm trying to think of when Paul turned clown. Um, <laughs> the, I guess like it was, the song. Sergeant, let's try and figure the song out. A lot of people think that Rain is the turning point. Paperback writer and rain, but actually, it's that's not it. It's actually, no. it's probably okay. Let's. Try I mean, yellow th- submarine. I think 
yeah, is kind of that's. But there might be one. I'm trying to think. If there's anything earlier than that? Nothing yeah, on I... Rubber Soul that's clown. No. Revolver, Not really. Magical Mystery Tour. Re- Revolver, I think. Yellow Submarine. I think that's, that's kind of where. Start of but clown. even though John and Paul wrote it, and John was probably like, it's "I don't not, like this," no, John but was Paul was that. like, "I see something in this." Well, I've and been, then, I went to the whiskey. I saw the Doors and yeah. Brian Wilson there. You should have seen. There was actual ca- clowns there. He says, you see, see what these clowns are doing out in yeah, L.A.? Exactly. <laughs> these guys are really yeah. onto something. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. yeah. And then, you know. That's 100%. But my, also, that's my 100% love is, is just true. more all power to him, you know, that he that he's he's really continuing the clown genre like in life and in music yeah, and mean, hooking up with clowns hooking up with big time 90s star clowns yeah star like mark clowns. like mark mcgrath kind of and john stamos size I mean, clowns yeah massive yeah. clowns you yeah. know uh, like these guys are big stars yeah john stamos you know he was on a comedy universe. sitcom for years yeah. that's clown like yeah behavior and yeah. you know, good for him. Well, that's yeah. a hundred, I, all. I, I mean, that's so true, dude. What you yeah. just said and what we just said, I think it's just so true. Yeah, it's. I mean, it's pretty amazing when I figured out how you know the '90s really embraced that clown genre. And I think you're right. People just wanted to have a good time. They wanted to be entertained. What's well, Bill Clinton's you know? America? Tony Blair's just kicking in. We've done with Thatcher. Let's just. We got a bit of money in our back pocket. Mm-hmm. Um, we've not. Inv- we've not. Nine Eleven's not happened yet. It's just, no. it's pre that, right? Yeah. So it's just like, I mean, we don't, we've not thought about, you know, racism isn't in, we're not even thought about anything. White people haven't thought about anything yet at all. There's no like, com- there's no kind of conscious, like no conscience at all. We're just kind of like, it makes me feel good. Businesses, even the name Lollapalooza is has a clown. clown feel. Yeah, it does. That it festival does. is like yeah. where all the top clown acts <laughs> got together yeah, to perform. Did. Like Blink One Eighty Two. Oh yeah, even like <laughs> yeah, major Blink. clown band, insane oh clown posse. Not that clown. It's a <laughs> not clown. No, no, they're not clown. No, pagan. I wanted to look up like a Lollapalooza clown bill. A bill from like ninety four yeah. Vancouver. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Uh, list of Lollapalooza lineups by year. Here we go. Kind of uh, a, a Vans Warped tour as well. Real clowny. Okay, warped. like I'm just seeing a whole lot of clown. <laughs> Here, what I look. Porno for Pyros yep. definitely has a clown feel. Actually, maybe not not too much here. You know who were kind of clowns? System of a Down. <laughs> like that kind of stuff. Syndrome you know? of a Down. Yeah, but they, um, they were like... Um, fishbone. Fishbone, this Fish. type of thing, you know. Fish are Grateful Dead carnival music. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, no, because System of a Down were like they were actually like they were kind of pilgrim because they're doing like a freedom fighter energy. It's they're, more political. I it was know, very yeah. political because the Albanian kind of genocide and everything. So, <clears throat> what do you think about smashing Armenians? Pumpkins? Sorry, um, pretty <sighs> mm, interesting. To me, smashing pumpkins are psychotic to me. As, yeah. a th- as a thing, yeah. like, I would say probably somewhere in the I, subgenre of pagan clown. Yeah. Gothic clown. <laughs> yeah. Kind of like, I mean, but I guess like clowns are pretty pagan as well because they're so sad. Yeah. You know? Beastie Boys, clown. Major clowns. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's clown. Oh, yeah. Were they all in the? Did yeah, they play at Lollapalooza? Lot. I mean, I'm I'm digging. I we've we've established the major clown. I don't know about the you know some can of these. I'm fine, but we've definitely hit the most of the. Can I just type? I'm going to type in most clown like bands into like mm-hmm. Google here. See what we get. Mm-hmm. Well, okay, Good. No, I'm this glad is just, you're doing that. Then this is just yeah. all about clown core, which is kind of oh insane clown posse style stuff. I'm not looking. I'm not looking for that. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm not. No, you weren't looking for that. Yeah. There's a lot of people who, I mean, Kiss are pretty clown. Clown pagan. Kiss are definitely, I mean, in in, in and pagan. Yeah. yeah. What if about they're clown, Slipknot they're clown, are clown. clown? That's another one pagan. from the 90s. Slipknot are real clown. Yeah, that's definitely that's super clown. That's yeah, like, for sure. That's like so clown it might not be. <laughs> Slipknot. Mudvayne? 
Uh, that's more. That's more like a different genre, which is like, s- di- like diseased, like psycho <laughs> oh. clown thing. <laughs> it's like, that's probably clown core. Yeah, it, that's it's, it. It's like it's yeah, like bands like, like, kind like that, of like, like disturbed. Dis- dis- you know what I mean? I'm like, <laughs> it's just like, yeah, but it's like virus music. It's yeah, exactly. It's like he's got virus infected. Clown. Yeah, infected. yeah. I'm like the clown has become life. a part of me. Yeah, half life okay. music. Yeah, like, exactly. Yeah, like, that's like, when it's like it's not funny. No, like I'm fucked no, no, up. No, no, I'm like, like I'm a fucking clown. Like I'm fucking. I don't even want to be. I don't. I'm doing don't it against be. my better judgment. Yeah, like yeah. prodigy. You know what I mean? It's kind of like <laughs> yeah, yeah, like that kind of, kind of twisted clown, demented, <laughs> exactly like, demented yeah. clown. Yeah. Do you think like, that like Brian possessed, Wilson, yeah, kind of possessed, possessed clown? Yeah. Do you think that Brian Wilson would re- sees in like bands like the Prodigy what he created? Yeah, you know, he well, yeah, because like, he's McCartney the first one who too. went nuts with it. Yeah, the clown yeah, no, got in yeah, his brain. Yeah, yeah. I know, dude. The clown did get in his brain. It's crazy. <laughs> it's so true. Yeah. The clown as a kind of symbol for, like, trying to make smile. Yeah. Kind of, like, music kind of getting too much for you. And the clown getting in your head. in Corn, clown. But it's exactly. also, oh, like, full meth. clown. <laughs> Psycho clown, disease, yeah, psycho, psycho clown, clown. Yeah, exactly. virus, clown. follow the leader, yeah, yeah, yeah. which Brian yeah. Wilson, yeah, Just follow exactly. him, Mike Love, probably tons of band, yeah, exactly, follow the leader, yeah, yeah. Who I mean, are they it's talking like about you start out trying to play like you start out like you, oh, we're gonna sound like the Foo Fighters, and you wind up sounding like Mudvayne once the clown gets in you <laughs> yeah, too deep. Exactly, you know yeah. what I mean, <laughs> clown, that's what we call it. It's not math. Yeah. No. Yeah. Well, that's great, man. I mean, uh, it's fantastic. We're, stuff we're good, I'd man. like to develop this further. Well, I mean, work on your mood board and we can just keep talking about it. Okay. Maybe we can get some, um, I don't know, some hard rock clowns on our show to tell us about their inner softy. You know what yeah. I mean? That kind I of mean, I, it's nothing funny about it when you get to, when the clown takes control. I got a, I got, <laughs> listen, listen, no, <laughs> look at this. A brief history of clowns in rock, an article here. Yeah, insane clown posse, obviously, but it talks about like not clown. Yeah. Well, I don't think so. No, and it's going through them, clown core, clowns, that kind of thing. Uh, but it, there was something I thought of looked really interesting here. Um, the, the, a lot of these bands are on a label called Psychopathic Records. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I mean. Yeah. I mean, they might be the ones who oh, kind Limp of, Biscuit are yeah, really clown. Facilitate that transition. Yeah, Limp yeah. Biscuit is so clown, dude. Oh man, yeah. Oof. This I mean, is I'm so going. Good. I'd like to because, like, the psycho, the psycho demented clown genre is something that's just really insane. I'd like to. <laughs> that's kind of that's like, um, you know, like uh, those weird, like on like uh, David Attenborough, like Planet Earth things, where they find some like animal that's been like left to mutate by itself in Australia for yeah. like sixty thousand years. It's like the Galapagos of music is like the demented viral cl- Chernobyl even maybe D- diseased clown rock. And yeah. it's like in vi- all those videos in the nineties there'd be like there'd be like a like a dummy or like a yeah. puppet. Yeah. That sort of comes to Marilyn life. Marilyn Manson. It's like, it's like it, it, the guy's like in the corner like yes. just brooding because yeah. like this fucking demented kind of a clown David dummy Fincher like, energy. Yeah. You know, yeah. David Fincher style. Get out of my head! Yeah. Yeah, exactly, you know, yeah. like totally, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not a bit too much perspective. Kind of monster energy drink music. Yeah, yeah. Like, no, Nas like, kind of music. I'm gonna make some example, some more examples, and we'll talk about it next time because yeah, um, there's good, a couple yeah. of videos I'm gonna be sending you tonight. Dude. Yeah, I'm gonna <laughs> really to make you laugh stuff. about this. I got nothing else to do. Really. Lollapalooza. What a clown name for a festival. Uh, we figured it all out here, dude. It's amazing. It's yeah, clown. It's clown. 90s is clown. The clown decade. Yeah, okay. it is. The, yeah, okay, man. I'll see you. Okay. I'll see you soon. See you guys uh, next time. Okay. Subscribe to our Patreon. Um, you'll see the link in our bio. Um, help us buy the Doom box set. So um, you know, it's all there. Five bucks change. You know, changes our lives. We're hoping we'll be able to pay our rent in a couple of uh, probably this time next year. That's what we're saying. Okay. Peace out. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.